two uniform marbles. Two uniform M equals 75 grams marbles, diameter 2 cm, are stacked as shown in figure in a container that is W equals 3 cm wide. So these two marbles are in this container, 3 cm wide container. They have a diameter 2 cm, so 2 plus 1, 3 is the width of the container. And uh, they each have the same mass because these are identical marbles. Part A. Find the force that the container exerts on the marbles at the points of contact A, B and C. Part B. What force does each marble exert on each other? So that force will appear at this contact point between the two marbles. To solve this problem, I have to recognize all the forces acting on the marbles. So I see that at point A there will be a normal force F sub A. At point B there will be a normal force F sub B. At point C there will be a normal force F sub C. There is the weight of the marbles. So these are uniform marbles. Center of gravity is right in the middle. So Mg points down at the center. And there is a contact force which is the normal force uh, that is acting on marble 1 due to marble 2 and on marble 2 due to marble 1. It's a force couple, the normal force N. And I see that the weight of this marble has a perpendicular distance R with respect to the uh, center of the second marble. And uh, if you look at this triangle here that is made up of hypotenuse 2R, uh, one side R, this side is going to be 2R cosine theta. And from this triangle, since this is r, this is 2r, I can recognize what this theta is. Sine theta is r over 2r, 1 over 2. That means the angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so here's the coordinate system, horizontal axis, vertical axis, and the z-axis coming out of the page. So first thing I do is look at all the forces on the y-axis. Net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero if this is equilibrium. All right. So uh, the net force on the y-axis is due to this contact force at point B and the two weights. The normal forces will cancel each other uh, in pair. So I'm going to be left with for the system of two marbles the two forces acting on them is Fb, the contact force at point B, and the total weight pointing down. So I'm considering this as my system. The vertical forces are Fb and the weight, which would be at the uh, for the system of two marbles, it would actually, 2mg would be right in the uh, middle between the two centers. So Fb minus 2mg must be equal to zero that this tells me that the contact force at point b must be equal to 2 m g all right now <clears throat> m the mass of each marble is 75 grams so m is 75 10 to minus 3 kilograms with that the force exerted at point b is uh, 2 times 75 times 10 to minus 3 times g, 9.8. This gives me a force at point B of 1.47 newtons. All right. And now I'm going to uh, look at the net force on the x-axis. That should be equal to zero as well. So the net force on the x-axis. Now I look at the forces acting on this system of two marbles. Fa to the right, Fc to the left. There's no other horizontal force. So this tells me that Fa minus Fc is equal to zero. Therefore, these two forces are equal in magnitude, Fa and Fc. And the radius of each marble is its diameter d divided by 2. The width of the uh, container, w, is 
3D divided by 2. It is 3. Um, D was 2 centimeters and the width is one, 3 centimeters. So it is 3D divided by 2, which is equal to 3 times R. So from that right triangle, I read sine theta equals R divided by 2R, which is 1 over 2. So theta must be equal to 30 degrees. And cosine of 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2. Now, if I look at the net torque with respect to point P, the center of the first marble. All right, so I'm looking at the torque with respect to point P. If A and if B have uh, extend through point P, so they, they will have no uh, torque effect and MG will have no torque effect. Uh, the normal forces also extend through this point, so they will have no torque effect. But this MG will have a torque effect. So what is the torque effect here? The perpendicular distance is R, so R times MG. And the sense of rotation is clockwise, so it will be negative, negative torque. Uh, so I'm going to have minus R, minus capital R, MG. The second force that will have a rotation effect here is the force at contact point C. What is the perpendicular distance between this force and the pivot point? It is 2R cosine theta. So I will have minus RMG plus 2R cosine theta FC equals to 0. Uh, and R's will cancel. Now... <clears throat> This gives me, uh, and let me be careful with the direction of the torque here, it is R cross with F. The, uh, the sense of rotation here is counterclockwise, so it's going to be positive torque. So this is positive, the other one is negative. Uh, so this tells me that FC should be equal to mg divided by 2 cosine theta, mg divided by 2 cosine theta, which is mg divided by square root 3, because cosine 30 is square root 3 over 2. And according to my analysis here, this is also equal to fa. All right, so fa and fc have the same magnitude, which is mg over square root 3. A uh, numerical value, Fa equals Fc equals 75 grams, 75 10 to minus 3 kilograms, 9.8 meters per second square, divided by square root 3. This gives us a numerical value for Fa and Fc of 0 0.424 newtons. All right. Part B of the problem asks me to find the force the marbles exert on each other. So for this purpose, I consider the bottom marble only. I see the normal force exerted by the second marble, which is over here. Uh, there's the weight FB and FA and MG pointing down on the center of gravity. So if I write the net force on the x-axis equals to zero, net force on the x-axis equals to zero remember this is the x-axis this is the y-axis uh, which forces have an x component fa and the normal force so i will have fa in plus i hat direction minus n sine theta is equal to zero the normal force is fa divided by sine theta uh, sine theta is is what sine theta is uh, this angle theta here it's this angle which is 30 degrees so sine theta is 1 over 2 so this tells me that the normal force is 2 fa which means the normal force is 2 mg over square root 3 <clears throat> the contact force exerted by the marbles on each other. 
On the other hand, if I write the net force on the y-axis equals to zero, I will find Fb minus mg minus n cosine theta equals to zero. And this, give, this will give me exactly the same answer. So the normal force is equal to 2 Fa, which is numerically 0.848 Newtons. Okay, so in this problem, we considered two marbles, uniform marbles, identical. Uh, they each have the same mass. The center of gravity is in the middle inside a container such that the width of the container is three times the radii of the marbles. The, we want to know the contact forces uh, at the points where we have contacts with the container and the forces that uh, the marbles exert on each other. So for that purpose, first I looked at um, the forces uh, in general. So there's Fa normal force at contact point A, Fb normal force at contact point B, Fc normal force at contact point C and the normal force exerted by the two marbles on each other. The contact force and then there's the weight of the two marbles. And I define my coordinate system. I write the net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero for the system of two marbles. There is two mg pointing down, there is fb pointing up. So fb is equal to two mg. That is coming from an analysis of two marbles considered as a single system. Uh, on the other hand, if I consider the net force on the x-axis, then I have Fa minus Fc equals to zero. Uh, and this tells me that these two forces are the same. And in order to find what Fa and Fc is, I consider the torque with respect to this center point P. Um, why do I do that? Because that eliminates Fa, Fp, Mg uh, torque effects and the normal force torque effects because they all have an extension through this pivot point. Uh, only Fc and Mg of the second marble will have a torque effect. So R cross F, this is in the counterclockwise direction. So the perpendicular distance is 2R cosine theta times Fc. This is going to be a positive torque. And R cross F, the sense of rotation is clockwise, negative torque here, the perpendicular distance is capital R times mg, so we will have minus capital R mg as the torque. This gives me Fc, which is equal to Fa. And if I consider the bottom marble only instead of the two marbles together, if I write the equilibrium condition on the x-axis, net force on the x-axis should be zero, Fa should be equal to n sine theta. So from this equation, I find that since sine theta is one over two, as I have found earlier, n is two times Fa, which is 0.848 Newtons.